Okay, y'all, there is this super exciting new feature on Tailwind that I can't wait to show you. We have a full video on how to use the Tailwind Chrome extension to schedule your Pinterest posts really easily that you can watch. I'll link it in the corner for you. Um, but this is going to be about Tailwind Create. It's a new feature they're beta testing right now. So this could change a little bit based on their new updates and the feedback that they're getting from everyone who's beta testing. If you want to beta test, there's gonna be a code and a link in the description of this video that you can fill out, but this is brand new and I'm just so excited about it. I couldn't wait to show you. So if you're new here, I'm Lainey, I'm a stationary designer and business coach for creative entrepreneurs. You can subscribe to my channel to get tons more videos and tutorials just like this. And I hope that you will all comment and let me know what you think of this feature, whether you've tried it out yet or not, and any questions that you have that I'd be happy to explore for you. This thing is so great. I literally am so excited. Okay, so you're gonna get this new paintbrush in your normal Tailwind dash one. You're gonna click it, you're gonna get this screen. So let's go with start designing here. All right, so you get to this page where I've already pulled up what we're gonna be pinning today, which is this lemon citrus suite. So you copy that and paste the destination link here. So there's stock photos that you can search from as well as it'll pull from the URL. That part's being a little glitchy at this moment, but it does work typically. Um, this time I'm actually just going to upload photos of my lemon suite. So there's a lot of different options here that you can use to find your photos. You can upload them, you can use stock photos, or you can grab them directly from the URL. Okay, and I'm gonna add my pin title, which will be like lemon, eh, I'll just go with lemon wedding invites. Perfect. And then you just click create images and this is where the magic happens, get so excited. It has literally created so many pins for us. I can't even tell you, I've never gotten to the bottom. I tried to get to the bottom yesterday and could not even get there. It creates so many for us. So you have these bright colors, which are my brand colors. So that's this color palette that I've gone ahead and set in there as my brand colors. This is a whole combination of color palettes that are chosen directly from the image itself. And then we've got some other ones as well as um, you can choose your own and set whatever you want. I'm gonna try and play off the image itself. This one's kind of soft and nice. I like that because it's got a little bit of yellow in it. Let's try this one and just see. No, I think that first one I chose was really lovely. All right, perfect. So that's the color palette we've got over here. We've got our same text, so lemon wedding invites. We could change that if we wanted. We could change our font as well. I'm not super loving how this font looks, but that one's a little nicer. It's my other brand font. And then down here, you can do no branding website or brand name, which as you can see, it's got designed by Lainey.com everywhere. Or if you upload a logo, then you can put that on there. I don't really do that because I'm not a huge fan, but if you click no branding, it just takes it off of all of them. How nice is that? And then website looks a little different. So you may not love how any of these start out exactly. They might not be 100% perfect um, to start, but you can always go in and edit them. So let's see, I feel like, so let's see, I kind of like this one and I can just click edit and you can do add stock photos. You can change up the text or add more. You can add your photos, change that up. Um, if I click on any of this, I can change it. So maybe I just want to make the text a little bit smaller. Um, and then you can change like the opacity of everything. So this, um, this white block might be a little too opaque. So I might make it a little bit more translucent. And then you could even like change the layout of the photo. If you want to move this around, maybe make it a little bigger. So we just have more of that lemon text. And then I probably want to just move all of this up a little bit so that you can actually see the wedding invite. But I think that looks pretty nice. There we go. So now we've got a pen and we can just save and go back or we can download it. And this guy is clicked. So you'll see I had written Lemon Wedding Invites as the title. I've clicked this one, but maybe I just wanted to change it to Lemon Invites. 
or change the color palette. So I do that and it changes it on everything except the ones that are already clicked. So these are basically locked in place. So then you can kind of just go through and check which ones, which ones you want. And then you can review your selection and go ahead and add it, um, go schedule. And that'll take you right to Tailwind to do that. So this is going to come um, at a fee. You'll get 10 free ones, even if you only have a free trial of Tailwind. And you can go ahead and click the link in my profile to sign up for that. And then if you already have Tailwind, you can click just to sign up for the beta as well. I'll include all those links for you. But again, it's in beta. There are some little glitches. It can take a little while to load between things, but I'm really blown away at how many options are on here. Maybe you like some of them as they just start out without any edits. Maybe some of them you need to edit a little bit. That's completely fine. Um, and you'll be able to save templates too. So if you find one that you really like, you can save it as a template and keep using it. So I'm just gonna scroll here to show you a bunch of these designs. They're so much fun and they have some crazy ones like this, which I love for like blog posts or things with really simple titles. These are just so fun and I really truly feel like there's options here for everyone's style. So some of these don't even have photos and you'll get into all different color palettes. And if you click on this, try different looks, you can kind of um, update the colors so like say i don't like this color but i want it to be this blue color and then you can kind of change it up a little bit or if you change the photo if you click that it'll just cycle through all your photos until you find one that looks good and then you can go ahead and select it if you like i obviously do not like this weird blue color that i chose but if you only want small edits or just to move the photos around, that's a really good one. I love the general idea of this. I might just move the text around a little. This is so fun for a blog post or something. So again, we are nowhere near the bottom. You can see how many more there are for us to take advantage of and enjoy. And I just am so excited about Tailwind Create. So let me know what questions you have. Um, the pricing isn't hundred percent set. I know that's going to be a popular question, but they're going to include, I want to say it's 10 every month for anyone. And then if you um, upgrade, then you can get more, which is awesome and save more templates and that kind of thing. All right. I have to stop because I'm going to be at this four hours otherwise, but let me know what you thought of Tailwind Create, what questions you have, and make sure you check out our other Tailwind video on the Chrome extension if you are not sure about that because it is such a cool tool. I'll teach you that trick if you check out the video in the corner. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for more conversations and tips for creative entrepreneurs.